backing up your Synology NAS to Backblaze. Hey there, this is Tom with Tom's Tech Show. Um, I was doing a video on this, backing up uh, data from my Synology NAS to, to Backblaze, and I got all distracted because of the Backblaze uh, hard drive uh, data that they put out and I finally just made a whole video about that so that's also uh, on my channel uh, they do a whole breakdown of how many drive failures they have over the 190 plus thousand drives that they have in their system so it gives you some good statistics as to whether you what type of drive you want to buy so but today we're going to hook up our Synology NAS to back it up to their new B2 cloud storage, which works pretty well. I mean, you just need a couple of bits of information in order to send data up there. So if you come down to the bottom here and you uh, click the Start Now button, it'll launch you through a, uh, a welcome little thing where you set up an account, a password, and all that. And that gets us to here. So into my settings. Um, from here you want to go and generate um, app keys. So you need an app key in order to connect to the system. I let that page sit there too long, so we'll just log back in again. Thank you to uh, my last pass for saving my passwords. So I don't have to do that. Okay, so we'll go to app keys. We need to create a master application key so it comes with one that you don't know so we need to generate a new master application key and say yes generate a new key okay so because this right here will only appear once there's the key ID application key so we're just going to copy all this right here so that we have it and we're going to put it over here in my handy dandy notepad off to the side so I have those, okay, and ready to go. So then we need to go to buckets, and we're going to create a bucket. So this is going to be TTS photos, and we're going to make this bucket private because I'm not sharing it with anyone. Uh, I'm going to leave the encryption off. You can turn encryption on if you would like. Uh, object lock is a feature that helps with uh, uh, ransomware. So once you get a file up there, it doesn't ever get changed or edited or anything else. So now I have a bucket here called TTS photos. Okay. So now we go to my Synology NAS. And I, you can see I already have three other backblaze accounts set up here so but we're going to add another one we're going to click the plus and i'm going to click backblaze b2 so we're, okay so in let's jump back here for a second we're in the uh cloud sync application on the synology nas if you don't have that um, then you can um, just install it from the package center that Synology has. Uh, we can just go wide here. So let's go here. We can just go search for it. And there's Cloud Sync right there. If you don't have it, this would say install, and you can just install it. All right, pretty quick and easy. And then we've got Cloud Sync here. Okay, so we're going to do a Backblaze B2. Click Next. Then it says key ID. So we need that other page we had that we were supposed to have copied off the key ID that we're going to paste in here. Boop, key ID. Then we're going to paste in the application key, which is this really long number here. Application key. Boom. Okay, now that that's in there and we click the down arrow, it's actually going to go out and find my bucket. So that makes it really easy to connect and get everything set up. Okay, so we're going to click next. So it's now on our public cloud. So my local path, I'm just going to go here to photo and we're going to expand that a little bit. We're going to come down here and go to uh, and pick 
screenshots. Okay, so that's my screenshots. Okay, so my photo screenshots is going to the root folder. Uh, you can do it bi-directionally or you can do it upload local changes only. So here's where if you're wanting to do something like uh, make sure that it's backed up and that nothing ever gets changed, um, you have it be immutable on the other side. So once it, something is backed up, it never changes up there. So it's always feeding things up and is always up there, right? So kind of that ransomware protection that you want to be able to have it sent up there. It's fixed, it's locked, it's not gonna change, done deal. Okay, so you can change, you can set up a schedule uh, so that, uh, you know, what, you know, like we only run this when it's, you know, not, you know, only run it in the blue areas, like from, you know, six o'clock at night to four o'clock in the morning so that I'm not chewing up data during the middle of the day when I might be, you might even go later, like right? Like, you know, eight or nine o'clock or 10 o'clock at night so that it's not chewing up data in the middle when you're trying to stream something, you can set that kind of schedule up if you want. Okay, we're gonna hit next. Parent child alert, oh, I'm already using that for something else. So we'll just pick this fast files folder, that's fine. So there we go. Okay, then it comes here, it says, okay, this is what we're gonna back up. We're gonna hit done. Congratulations, your everything's been set up. So now it's gonna say syncing, and it's gonna go find the files that are there and start pushing them up to Backblaze. And it says updated 29 files, and it's gonna keep pushing them up until all of the files are there. Right now, I think they're giving you like 10 gig of free storage space. So that's kind of cool for now. So if I hit refresh, it should eventually start showing me that there are files in it right now. There's zero files. So we'll wait, it continued. It'll take a minute for it to start syncing. So go to history and you can see all these files are being pushed. And as long as the little blue sync is there, that means it's pushing files up there. So it's pushing that up. These are the task lists. It's syncing up there. And eventually we will see there's 13 files there, 44 meg. Okay, it's running, it's working. We have data moving up there. So that's pretty quick and easy just to get your API keys, go through, drop those in to uh, the Synology NAS Backblaze B2 uh, agent there. And off it goes, moving things up there. All right, cool. Well, there we go. If you got any questions about how this was set up, I had some people tell me that I move a little bit too fast. I've been trying to slow down on some of these things so that you can kind of follow along. Uh, but uh, there you go. We're backing up to Backblaze B2. Pretty fun. All right. Thanks for watching. Got any questions? Let me know. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. And then if you want to get into some politics, uh, maybe some pop culture news or anything like that that's a little more hard-hitting, go to Tom's Talk Show, and uh, there'll be a link in the description. All right? Thanks for watching. Take care.